WhatsApp is the world's most popular instant messaging app, and for good reason, it gets a steady stream of updates, has a long list of features, and supports a wide range of devices. There's a little wonder why it's hit the billion user mark. Want to get the most out of the platform? We've got a few essential WhatsApp tricks you should use. You probably don't know how to make a bold or strike through text. Well, it's simple. Just put an asterisk at the beginning and the end of the particular word and you will get your bold text. Well, for strike through text, just put a tilde at the beginning and end of the desired word and you will get strike through your text. Whether your texting pace is just too fast or a group chat constantly sees new messages, quoting is one of the best WhatsApp tricks to manage context. To quote someone, you will want to hold down on the desired message. Then tap the arrow icon that point to the left. From here you can compose your response with the quoted message, a test for all to see. Well, if you are outside of your house and you are using your mobile data, when someone sends you an audio, photos or videos, it will automatically be downloaded using mobile data. But do you know, you can turn this option off by going into the settings, data and storage use and there will be an option about photos, videos, audio. Just tap on the photos and tick the Wi-Fi. Do this for all videos, audio and documents and it will save your precious mobile data. WhatsApp calls are a handy feature on the platform but they can consume a fair bit of mobile data if you are a heavy user or on a limited plan. I have a trick to improve your data consumption. If you would like to save your mobile data, just go into the settings, data and storage use and turn the low data usage on. This will improve your data consumption. Much like Facebook and Twitter, WhatsApp allows you to request a zip file of your account information and settings. This doesn't include your messages though, only collecting your profile photo, whether you agree to that Facebook data policy, group names and the like. To do this, you will need to visit settings, account, request account info, then tap request report. It takes between 2 and 3 days to get the report. However, the request will be cancelled if you choose to delete or re-register your account or change your number or device. For the uninitiated, this simply means that a message has been seen if you prefer to dodge your contacts. You can disable read receipts by visiting settings, account and privacy. Turn the read receipts feature on. One of the WhatsApp Snifter tricks is the ability to see who read your group text. All you need to do is hold on your message to highlight it and then click more and then info. Then you will able to see who read your message. You probably have a group that constantly devolves into a constant stream of memes and viral videos. You can just mute the group. To mute the contact or group in the question, just click on the group and tap the group name. Click on the mute. You can then specify a mute period. If you prefer a full-size keyboard or just like the convenience of the big screen, WhatsApp Web is one of the best features for you. To get things started, visit web.whatsapp.com on your computer. The website will display a QR code which can read on the WhatsApp mobile app. Now scan the website's QR code via your phone's QR code reader and that's it. Just like the Facebook and Instagram, there is a feature on WhatsApp to tag someone in a group. Just type at the rate in the message box and it will show all the names of people available in the group and you can tag someone in the group. WhatsApp also lets you add contacts to your home screen, ideal for significant others and other frequently contacted people. To add a chat to your phone's home screen, open the contact or group in question, then tap the three dot menu in the top right corner, from here visit more, add shortcut. You then simply tap add to confirm the decision. Well, this option is only available for Android devices. The average WhatsApp user has loads of contacts, so it's understandable if you feel a little overwhelmed by message alerts. Fortunately, there's at least one way to sort the weed from the shelf in the form of custom notifications. To create a custom notification, you will need to enter a chat with the desired contact. From here, you will have to tap your name at the top of the chat window and choose custom notifications and select the message alert. Thank you so much for watching guys and I really appreciate if you could smash that subscribe button and press the notification bell icon so you never miss an update from my channel and every week I upload videos related to technology. My name is Hamza, this is Advanced Unboxer and I'll catch you in the next one.